Now, one thing I will tell you before I get started here, I, I bring no apology for the word of God. The word is what it is. It says what it says, and I don't stand on what it says. All right. Many look for this position. They look to this position. They, they think it's a position of, of, of high honor. Yeah. Yeah. Prestigious stuff. It's, it's glamour involved in it. And, and they see the pastor as somebody that just, just come to church on Sunday and preach a word and they go home and everything is okay and, and everything feels good. It's just, it just, uh, just, just almost like a superstar. But I... Uh, Come with a different message today. Come on, tell it. Tell it. It's not what it seems on the surface. <coughs> it's a, a lot of wrestling tonight. It's a lot of pain. It's a lot of grief. The only thing that keeps the pastor going is God upholding him and giving him the strength to keep going. Amen. Amen. Giving him or her the strength to keep going. Otherwise, they would never make it. You're right. I'll talk to you for a minute, and I did my homework on this. Go ahead. Good brother God said, I'm going to study. Amen. 80% of pastors believe ministry had neg negatively affected their family. Amen. Many children do not, not many pastors' children do not attend church. Now, because of what the church has done to their parents. Amen. I'm going to come with it now. Back down. 70% of pastors constantly fight depression. 70% have someone, they have, have, do not have someone they consider a close friend. Because they can't talk to you about it. Everybody you talk to, they try to criticize them and put them down. Yeah. If they get one good friend that they can trust, they're doing good. All right. 80% of spouses feel left out and underappreciated by church members. Going to some of the dishes, they walk with them. Right. Right. <laughs> the profession of pastor is near the bottom of a survey of the most respected professions. Just above the car sale. <laughs> and the shocking thing you might have not known, over 1,700 pastors left the ministry every month last year. Right. I, 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 I look at the thing of, of pastor and I ask the question, first of all, why do they deserve on? Why, why do they deserve on? Uh, 1 Timothy 5 and 17 said, Let the elders that rule well be counted where the double on. Yeah. Yeah. Especially they that work labor in the word and doctrine. Yeah. All right. yeah. So, so uh, <laughs> why do they? It said, the Bible said, Because of their work. Yeah. Because of the work. The work don't come with a, a slick suit all the time. All right. All right. Some of the work comes on your knees at night. Praying for folks who've done you wrong. Yes. Huh? Amen. Uh, as fast as Sally get through expressing her opinion, and you get over that hump, here comes John. All right. All right. Uh, right. Lord have mercy. I'm, yeah. I'm just going to tell it like it is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, here comes John with his problem to put on top of you. Huh? Yeah. Uh, not a not to mention you got a family to deal with. It, right. And everything around you, it looks like you want to crash down. But And the only thing that's holding you up is the word. Yeah. The only thing that's holding you up is strength from God. Yeah. Uh, and you wonder why they deserve honor. Yeah. It wasn't that they were so special, more, so much more special than you. It's the job that, that deserves the honor. Uh, this is some dirty work. Huh? Yes, you don't go, you, you, your suit might look clean when you get on, but you leave work dirty. Uh, you leave work, you have, uh, sometimes it takes to go to the point where you have to drop to your knees when you get in the aisle. Yeah. And tell everybody, just leave me alone. Yeah. Give me some time with God. Yeah. This, this is not a prestigious position. Yeah. <coughs> it don't come with the slick stuff you might think it comes with. Yeah. 
uh, sometime, I, 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 it was just a, a couple of weeks ago, uh, wasn't even, probably wasn't even a week ago, Pastor Hawkins, I, I woke up at 5 o'clock in the morning and the pressure got so deep, I, all I could do was lay my head on my wife's legs and weep. Uh, because of the job that comes with it. This is not an easy thing. Yeah. All right. The smile that you see when you get to church ain't, ain't a smile. Sometimes, sometimes they see some down on the deep side, inside of them. Huh? You ought to always be praying for your pastor. Amen. Uh, there's always something going on in the inside. God has always challenged them and, and put weight on them. That, oh. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. This, is, this, this ain't nothing new to the gospel, though. Uh, this ain't nothing new to the church. Uh, uh, Moses even had problems back over here in Numbers chapter 20. He said, Moses and Aaron gathered the assembly before the rock. And he said to them, listen now, you rebels. Shall we bring forth water for you out of this rock? <coughs> then Moses lifted up his hand and struck the rock twice with his rod. And water came forth abundantly in the congregation and their beasts drank. And, 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 but the Lord said to Moses and Aaron, because you have not believed me to treat me as holy in the sight of the son of Israel, therefore you shall not bring this assembly into the land which I have, have given you. Right. Uh, sometimes, sometimes people run folks out of their own ministry. That's right. uh, the ministry that God give them, uh, this is not always good for us. Uh, uh, Come on, Come on. Yeah. My God. I used to watch a pastor named Zachary Tim. He had a good man. I used to love to watch him on TV. And all of a sudden, he went blank. You know what I'm talking about. And I wonder what happened to him. The person of the ministry, first of all, practiced man, good man of God, then he killed himself. Mm -hmm. uh, see, 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 some people don't understand what comes along with this. This, 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 uh, these, these men can understand what I'm talking Amen. about. Amen. This, ain't, this ain't nothing to play with. Right. The pastor in Georgia spent a lot of time in the prison ministry. He, he, he went in and served everybody but himself. Yeah. Because he was thinking about people. Amen. By him not dealing with his own self, he killed himself. Yeah. I, I, I'm just trying to get us to understand something. Uh, you, 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 you know, uh, I, I want us to understand what this is all about before you leave here. Why the position deserves the honor that it does. Right. I, I want you to understand what comes with because everybody wants their way. Right. Everybody wants their way. Yeah. Everybody got to have it my way. Right. Huh? Yeah. Uh, if I can't have it my way, it ain't no way. And guess who's going to have to deal with it? Yeah. The pastor. Yeah. He got to deal with it. Because everybody's going to bring their case to the pastor. Y'all excuse me now. I, I'm, I'm just trying to get us to understand something here. What did he say? What, what, what the scripture tell us? Say, obey them that have a rule over you and submit yourself. For they watch over your soul. Yeah. As, as they must give an account. That they may do it with joy. Yeah. For a lot of times we can't do our work with joy because of so much pressure. Amen. Right. Come on now. I, 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 he said, not with grief, but it's unprofitable for you. What gain is it is for you to have a depressed pastor in the poor bit? All right now. All right. Huh? What gain it is? Why, so, so what, what gain it is for you for a pastor to drop everything he got and say forget it and hit that door? Mm -hmm. No, it's not a gain for you. God said I give you pastors after my own heart. Oh, yes, yes. You mean to tell me you run the heart of God off? It's not an easy task, folks. Well, I look at the, I, I looked at the thing that said chosen. Yes. God chose them, yeah, God gave them the strength to make it through. Yeah, God loves them. Yeah, yeah God will sustain them. Yeah. But you have a job too, folks. Yeah. 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 You have a job too. Right. And the same way that God, let me tell you something about God. 
when God plays up, put set something in play, He gonna defend what He said in play. Right. I recall a story over there by Miriam. Then. Miriam, Miriam, uh, uh, don't we hear from God also? Huh? God said, "Come on, come over here to the door this time. Go over here." Say, I speak to you. I speak to you in visions and dreams, but I speak to my servant Moses face to face. Right. Right. He gives a little leprosy to go with it. You know, sometimes we don't understand why sickness come about. Right. Uh, sometimes we don't understand why trouble come in our life or come yeah. about. Right. Sometimes you don't sit on some things of God that you didn't need to sit on. All right. Uh, well, 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 he said, Touch not my servant and do my prophet no harm. God meant what he said. The scripture meant what he said. But it seems like people don't want to buy it. Oh, wow. right. 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 Pastor Hawk in this survey was done. You, 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 you heard about the pew research. You heard about it. Okay. It was done from poor pits around the country. They deal with that. Then, and he said the number one reason that pastor lead ministry is church people are not willing to go the same direction and go to the pastor. Pastor believe God wants them to go in one direction, but the people are not willing to follow or change. So they leave. Huh? Why do they leave? Because they're not willing to be out of the will of God. Huh? I'd rather go than not be in the will of God. Let those that rule well be counted worthy of double harm. He didn't say they were more special than you. I came here today because every time I get around Pastor Hawkins and his wife, I feel a certain spirit. I believe in my spirit that their intentions are to do what God called them to do. But not at all at, at all times. They, they also have to have the support of the people also. Huh? You know, and sometimes you have to do something. You don't have to, you don't have to, it don't always take no money. Do something to encourage them. Do something to lift them up. Do something to make them feel like they're special sometimes. Because they need it. Huh? They need it. They need your support. Amen. I'm working on a building. It's a true foundation. 